Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Woodmill Incorporated. I realized something the other day that I am a dev of the game, and I have the ability to record a video that no other YouTuber is going to be able to record because I have access to something that you guys don't. Not that. There it is. It's the golden axe. And yes, I have two of them. This one's a broken one. This one's the real one. But I figured I would come in here and show you what this little beauty does uh, and just basically let you know that you can't get it. <laughs> Which is, is kind of bad on my part, but at the same time, I really... I really wanted to show this to you guys because a lot of people have been asking about the Golden Axe. You guys have seen Akuza, uh, Akuza with it, the Akuza. Um, it is a very powerful axe with a quite a long distance range on it, and it's a it's a single chop, like bam, done. You can just chop all day long with this thing. I find this highly overpowered, and I'm only going to be using it for this video. And I'm not even going to sell the wood that I chop with it. I'm just showing you its abilities. So I will get rid of it from my inventory because I feel like it's it's too overpowered just from what I've seen so far. Like this is, this is incredibly nuts. And it's really cool. I mean, it's nice, but at the same time, could you imagine if everybody was walking around with one of these things? <sighs> yeah, that's not good. Um, I'll, I'll show you on the on the biggest trees that we have, which is the the lava wood. <coughs> I, I was a little worried because um, I did start recording earlier, and that's when I noticed that the the first axe was broken, and it's because I, I pulled it from the old the old um, studio version, not from the actual game version. So that's that's my reasoning behind it. Oh, and uh, I went ahead and took a, a look at the game files about the pedestal. I'm not telling. <laughs> I'm not telling you guys anything about that. And I'm not telling you anything about the, the secrets that I've seen, the secrets that I know. Um, but I will I will engage with the community. So if you ask questions or if you have ideas or theories, I might hint towards, yes, you're on the right path or no, that's completely wrong. But if you have questions about uh, Woodmill Incorporated, please put them in the comments down below. Oh, by the way, have you been watching PAX? Because I should be in competition right now. In fact, I'm releasing this video uh, about an hour before I start the competition, and it's going to be uh, Brawlhalla PAX Arena. So be sure to head over to PAX, check it out. All right, so this is the reason it's like super overpowered. Bam. Like that, really? This is, this is insanity. Just one hit, bam. Bam. Oh, did it hit? Didn't hit. Look at that. And like I said, I won't, I won't go and sell this stuff off because I, I feel like it's almost, it's, it's cheating is what I'm doing. This is, there's no work involved in this choppy axe thingy. This golden axe of awesome. Oh gosh. I got is this kinda this is kinda ruining it for anybody who's coming up here for lava trees. Ooh, sorry. I just thought about that and that was very selfish of me. I should not have chopped down all those trees. Um let's go ahead and toss these in. Just for just for fun. Just for argument sake because I don't want to be that guy I don't want to be that developer that person who's like look at me I can do all kinds of cool stuff I just wanted I wanted to show you the uh, the gold axe I thought it was pretty cool and thought you guys should see it since you've been asking questions which you're asking the right questions when's the next update uh, what kind of stuff can we look forward to what does this do is there a secret entrance like you guys are asking the right questions I can't tell you the answers to some of them, but it's good. It's really good. So, um, Defaultio is still updating. He uh, he released a couple more updates. Um, they're mostly fixes, and they're, they're little bug fixes here and there, but 
He is still working on Lumber Tycoon 2. Whoa. I'm so glad there's no fall damage in this game. <clears throat> but let's go take a look at the Cherrywood area. I will probably come back and, and do some birch wood. Not with the gold axe, but just with a regular um, alpha axe. <clears throat> it feels like a really long way to travel. <sighs> and we do need bigger cars. Definitely bigger cars. That's that's the key to this. So I do like the traction of the new car. Like it's it's much smoother than the other one. And uh Akosa got rid of the uh the rubber banding glitch with the car. Um I think it still happens if you like fall off. Now wait, that was it was over here last time, wasn't it? I could have sworn it was over there last time. Also, wait, wasn't this taller? I can't remember. Hold on, let's see. Which direction is that facing? It's facing this direction. So let's go this way and see what we can find. By the way, uh, pink trees are a thing. You can definitely find pink trees inside the game. <clears throat> I'm wondering if it does point towards pink, th pink trees. I'm trying to keep my camera angle faced in the direction that it was facing. That way we can see Maybe there's a pink tree over here. These are all birch trees. All birch trees, birch, birch, birch. I don't see any pink. What about out across the land? Nope, nothing over there. I like how there's fences all around this place. Ooh, I wonder. Because our cars have traction, you should be able to drive. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Ooh, oh, dang it. <laughs> oh no. Now I done busted it. I done busted my car. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab number three. Oh, that's not gonna work. Dang it. Okay, maybe it'll work. All right. Come on, lift, lift. Lift, lift, please. Oh, okay, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. All right. Well, give me a second and I will head back over to my base. Okay, finally made it back. And let's go here. Now, to be fair and to show you that I am still just trying to be a player, um, I, oh, come on. <clears throat> come on, come on, get in, get in. I've got my teleport and my axes all on me. I guess I could have dropped my alpha axe, can I? Here, let's do, let's do that. I don't want to lose an alpha axe if I don't have to. Pink. All right, and drop down my alpha. Let's go. Yum, yum. Heading to the ocean. Oh, by the way, there is rain and there's weather along with the uh, the night and the day, the day and the night. And the clouds, excuse me, get dark when it starts to rain. It's very cool, very cool effect. So if you haven't seen it yet, 
highly recommend while you're playing, just watch out for it and be like, oh my gosh, it's rain. That is a very abrupt drop off. Just saying. Ooh. Does the water end right there? Oh my goodness. What happened to the massive ocean we had? Mm, well, looks like we're gonna have to make boats. All right. Oh no, you died. Yep, I'm going to my my plot. Uh, a lot of people have asked, hey, Code, what is this thing? This is if you were in pre-alpha. If you had purchased access, you got this, and you got a statue of the David. This is a this is dedicated to a tribute to Defaultio, because he made that with his uh, his tool that he created. He's he's got a ton of plugins. Um, in fact, there's one called like Tree Generator or something like that. It's pretty fun. I've played with it. Do, 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 do. All right. What did I say? We need birch trees. Go grab some birch. Birch, birch, birch trees. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. I wanted to show you something. Ooh. So I keep knocking down my lights. Like every time. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Did not mean to do that, but that's kind of cool. Hold on, can I do it again to the other one? No, can't, can't do it to the other one. Oh no, I'm stuck. Anyhow, I keep knocking down my lights, right? Okay, that's not gonna work. Whew. Frustration. Oh, nice car. Something that you can do to kind of fix your lights so they're not moving around like that all the time is you can build, oops, you can build a little holder for it. So uh, grab out your blueprints. Wait, where are my blueprints? Are you kidding me? Wait, it didn't get rid of the golden axis. <laughs> what? And didn't get rid of my teleport ball. That's kind of cool. Okay. Well, let's go purchase some blueprints. Don't know. Don't know how I got rid of my blueprints. That's crazy. Here, I'll uh, I'll pause it while I purchase all this. All right. I purchased all my little blueprints. Akosa came over and started trolling me while I was trying to purchase things. It's kind of cool. Uh, so let's go with five. Um. I could do just a tile. I think a tile will go right over the top. Wait, why can't I place? Why is it turned like that? Hold on, cube. Everything's at an angle. What? <laughs> why is it at an angle? I don't want to add an angle. Okay, that's weird. You can't do half turns, can you? Can I get a screenshot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a bug. Huh. Well, I guess I won't be uh, building today. Yeah, you can get a screenshot. Cheese. Jeez. Everyone has it, which is sad. Oh no. Well, the Koza's in here. He could fix that. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> cheese. Golden X cheese. Hey, Brody. What's up? Uh, if you guys don't know, this is Morgs. He's the guy that found the. Uh, the nymph on top of the building, or on top of the, the pillar. I didn't even know about it. He found it before I knew about it. That's that's kind of sad, because I should I should have known. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I think that's it for tonight. I'm gonna call it. It's been fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out about this bug as well, because this is that's that's an annoying little bug. This this should be straight. It's not. 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Woodmill Incorporated with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out. Be sure to check out PAX. It's going on today, right now. I'm at it. You should go and see it. Uh, I will try and live stream if I can, but no guarantees because the quality and the sound and everything else that's inside that place is just, it's loud. So love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.